I was, I was taught it's a great name. The only thing I was worried about the spelling of lead, L-E-A-D. It could like like lead, you know, like lead you down a garden path sort of thing. And I was doodling around in the office, which is an office suite in those days, and I scrubbed out the A and wrote out L-E-D. Exactly, and I rang Jimmy up and I said, what do you think of that? I said, I think it's got much more punch. After all, as a manager, you can you can create the right environment, right? You get the right building, you get the right stage. You you don't do it personally, but you make sure people get the right lights together. You get everything. You get the right ticket price. You get everything that's possibly right. But you're not a member. You can never be a fifth member because you've got to remember when somebody says, "Ladies and gentlemen, Led Zeppelin," and they walk out there on stage, they're on their own. God knows how people get the bottle to do it. They're totally on their own. managers unfortunately who were on what is known as record company managers they were going to make a deal and like it's kind of you know too pally with the with the record company hence you don't really get the best for your act but you get your commission as far as i'm concerned no way you know it's the group and the manager be the rest it was a boxing promotion what what percentage were you on with Led Zeppelin? 20 percent that's fairly standard percentage. So you were a fifth a, member. A twenty cents, and I paid all my own expenses. I paid, and I paid my tour manager, paid all my expenses. We all paid our own individual expenses. Do you think for many managers, fame is a motivation, and, and it's a sort of case of the next best thing to actually? Unfortunately, being I there. think it is. But you can't be like that. You can't be like that. You know. Listen. If you and I's names up outside Madison Square Garden or, I don't know, Earl's Court or something, you know, saying you're a manager, I mean, I know you're a TV presenter. I mean, who's going to turn up? Relatives, and they're going to want complimentary tickets anyhow, you know. So, but I think there are people that do, do, do like the fame. I mean, I mainly, I suppose, got known for my attitude, you know, which is don't mess around with the band. One sentence that sums up how to be a good manager. This is the killer sort of <laughs> typical TV question. Have great belief in your artist. Believe. Don't do it because you think, you know what, it's 20% of that. Believe in their, them, in, within their, their selves and as, as musicians and to be able to produce music. Believe. Belief.